Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam, and welcome back to the channel for another Makeup Monday. In today's makeup video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this smoky gothic look. I've been needing to do a look that's just purely gray and black for a while now, since that is a staple in goth fashion. So first off, of course, you're going to want to do foundation. This is Wet n Wild's foundation. It is not the best up close, but it works good for photos, TikToks, whatever. It does kind of get kind of dry. I know I need to get like a skin primer to put on. Maybe at some point I will splurge and get that and add that to my daily makeup routine because my skin actually has started to dry out and I need to do some skincare next month. But I'm going to be going to Five Below and we're going to get us some affordable, fun skincare and maybe they'll have primer and makeup stuff there that I can afford. Now I'm using the Wet n Wild Concealer. This is their Incognito Concealer. I like to use this as an eye primer because it saves me on having to actually buy eye primer and concealer works just as well. Today we are going to be using my Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. This is such a staple. Oh my gosh. This palette has been out for forever. I've had it since the very beginning of my ghosty journey and it is my main go-to palette if I'm going to be doing a smoky look like this. I went into the shade Armor which is a slightly shimmery sh shade and it is a light gray. You want to start light when, with these looks and not go automatically into the darker colors and you want to be able to build up on that or it's just going to look like you're a raccoon. It's not going to look as glamorous and glam goth as you want it to be as stunning you're just going to end up looking like 2000s smudged eyeshadow all over the lid <laughs> yeah so now we're going to take that blending brush and we are going to fuse it i do this with all my looks i like that softer feel to it i don't like it to look like it's just stamped on Now we're going into this dark gray. I didn't want to go into that black because I was afraid it would take too much away from the look. And we're going out in a diagonal direction today and then we're just going to be dragging that into the crease. This gave my eyes a certain shape that I thought was really, really pretty and it made me look very sultry and stunning in those like gothic baddie vibes, not as cutesy. Your eye shape can portray a lot of your personality and the look that you're going for that day.
Now to soften that up a little bit, I went into this kind of tannish white shade and I just dusted that over top of this look just around the edges to help soften up that gray so it didn't look too harsh. This is not something you have to do if you were happy about how your look turned out but this is just something I did because my insecurities were showing through and I was like this look does not look good but it looked perfectly fine. The step wasn't really needed but it did help add a just a little tad bit of softness to this look it is eyeliner time going in with my elf eyeliner i would be careful if you use this liner though because it does smudge very very easily you have to have a very delicate hand with it and we are doing a very thick eyeliner today a very thick wing i like to do my wings by kind of just mapping out the shape and then filling it in as if it was like a coloring book. Um, my art skills tend to drag into my makeup skills. I was an artist first drawing in my sketchbook as a teenager and those skills have helped me really um, up my makeup game. But yes, we're doing a like big, thick, curved upward wing today and I thought it looked really, really pretty. Now this look was calling for just a little bit of shimmer, not a lot, so I went into my Scooby-Doo palette. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm hitting pan so hard in this shade because I use it the most. I'm going to be so sad when I finally run out of it, but we're going into this icy blue highlight and we're putting that in our inner corner with this very round brush it is very like silver toned with just little flecks of blue in there so i knew in my heart and soul that this would not take too much from our look because i wanted this to be a fully gray and black gothic look and then we just took that as well and we dusted it just above our brow bone for a little bit of shimmer there. I love to do this because it looks really good in TikTok videos and close-ups. As always, we are taking a ghosty spin with this makeup because this is the style that makes me stand out on social media, the style that is specific to me. We're going in with our Wet n Wild white, um, I guess you would call this a jumbo pencil, and we're just going under our eyes, bringing that a little bit more down because we really like to have those big, extravagant cartoon eyes. And now I'm taking that black eyeliner yet again, and I'm just going right underneath that white and creating our false bottom. Um, a lot of people do make fun of me on social media for my very cartoon style. They call me a clown. But honestly, y'all, get original with your insults. Just because somebody is extravagant doesn't automatically make them a clown. It makes them original and you're just boring. Yes, pop off back at the haters. I love my makeup style. It makes me happy. It makes me feel beautiful. And that's all that really matters when you're finding a style that is specific to you or experimenting with somebody else's style that you really want to start wearing who cares what people think now because i felt like that gray was a little bit too soft now that i had the eyeliner all down i did end up going into that black just very very lightly and i followed the shape of my eyeliner and brought that into my inner crease and then i really blended it out because i wanted it to remain a very soft smoky eye not a too harsh one
Now I'm going in to that gray that we started out our look with and I'm just very lightly putting that along our false bottom that we created to tie in the top of the look to the bottom of the look. And then I am smoking that out because again, we want it to remain soft. We don't want it to be too harsh or it's going to throw off the entire look. Now it is time for the part that everybody loves to watch me do. First, we are going back in and we are going over the false bottom because it did disappear a little bit with that gray. I want it to be very prominent. Now it is time to start our eyeliner. So I started off with a big wing on the edge there and then I did one that kind of goes down my face. As you see, I did it with the same way that I've done my um, main wing that I started out with, just outlining kind of a triangle and filling it in, mapping out where the eyeliner is going to go. And yeah, then I just kind of copied it on the other eye. Now, they don't have to be specifically matching. If it looks a little bit off, do not fret. You can add more lashes and nobody will ever know unless they're being really hypercritical of you and are going to watch a lot. Then I went in between those lashes and I just created some smaller ones. Then at the very edge there, I wanted kind of another longer one. I never have a set plan for when I do this. I just kind kind of fill my way with it and kind of just go in and start adding lashes. Let my intuition guide me. So you can be as extravagant with this as you want, as creative with the placement, as long as they just look like cartoon lashes. Now I took another long one down my face, but a little bit shorter than that main one. And then I'm going to also fill in some lashes in between that. As you see, I do the lashes very spread out and then I go in and I add the smaller ones in between to add some depth. And this is why my eyeliner always looks so extravagant. And this um, eyeliner has the perfect applicator to do this very easily once you get the skill down pat and it becomes second nature to you. Practice makes perfect. After a while, it becomes muscle memory. Now it is time for mascara. I'm using the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. Um, this is a very simple mascara. It doesn't um, elongate your lashes a lot, but I like it. It's affordable. You can find it at Ulta. I'm sure you can find it at drugstores as well. And yeah, I love some affordable mascara. I don't like to be too pricey when it comes to that, too picky. Thank you. 
Now I'm going into this Rapunzel palette and I'm going into the gray shade and because I wanted to keep this look fully gray, I used gray as blush. It might be unconventional, but it really worked for the look and really brought more of a gothicness to it. Not that it isn't already reading goth. I really like the way this looked and yeah, looking like a living dead girl, looking like a ghost. We love that aesthetic around these parts. Now because I love that sparkle, I'm just going in with that light blue silvery highlighter and placing that where I want it and blending it out with my fingers so it's not too harsh. We love the shimmer. It's also really effective when you're going out on a date and you step into the sun. You're like, wow, my girl sparkles. eyebrow time now i have a go-to brow when i wear this wig i love to do the arched brow and i love to use this kind of light gray shade that also has hints of brown in it because it matches the ombre of this wig and it just the wig match is on point it looks really really good so i just do my arched brow and then once i get the shape i like i like to add a little wispy um, hair details just to make it look a little bit more natural despite um it not looking natural it looking cartoony because they're drawn on It's a lipstick time. I don't know why I said it like that. You gotta have fun when you're doing these voiceovers because it becomes tedious. I'm using this cheap lipstick I found at Five Below. I think it's from Romeo London. It is their black uh, matte lipstick. It does need a few coats though because it does read more gray but the more you add on to it you're able to get it to finally read that gothic black but throughout the day i would probably bring it with you if you're wearing this out to like an event or a date or you know just out of the house in general because you're definitely probably going to have to reapply that shiz if you want to keep the gothic black that you need And then, because I just like to be a little extra cartoony, I took that black eyeshadow and I just followed my mouth line because I liked the way that was looking and I wanted to accentuate that. And I used this and I blended it into the lipstick as well. So the shape of my lips tied into that. I hope you spooky ghosts enjoyed yet another installment of Makeup Monday. I'm really proud of this look. I think this book tutorial is going to perform fairly well since a smoky black and gray look is such a staple in gothic fashion. And I know people want to learn my makeup style because it really does stand out amongst the crowd. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other makeup themes or colors you want to see me do in the future i love taking requests so till next time stay spooky and stay tuned for the end screen to check out my other videos love y'all